Nancy Small Town is a reporter. Today, Nancy Smalltown is discovering radiation. In this episode, one of Nancy Smalltown's interviews will be done by another girl. Oh, good to see you there. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whatever time zone you might be in. My name is Nancy Smalltown, and I'm with WBCKJXYZ News, and today we're going to be discussing everything you need to know about nuclear radiation. We're going to dig into the depths of all types of nuclear radiation. Well, let's go. Come on, Rachel. in St. Joan of Arc Hospital in Ion, California. We're going to interview Dr. Sandy Rump and we're going to find out how radiation, you know, might cause illnesses or treat them and maybe get a little inside scoop, you know what I mean? Let's go, Marshall. So tell us, Dr. Sandy Rump, tell us about yourself. Well, I live here in I on California and I've wanted to be a doctor and studied in radiation and it's just been a dream of mine forever. Really? Why has it been a dream? It's fascinating. You know, we're just here to find out more information about your hospital. Tell us about it, you know? Well, we study radiation. Mom, what about it? Just big bone. What about it? We study sicknesses, diseases, dying people, plagues. Everything having to do with sadness and illness and dying. Pleasant. Unfortunately, Nancy Smalltown could not be here today, so I will be filling in her role because she is in labor. My name is Molly Bridges. Let's go talk to Dr. Leonard Todd. Dr. Leonard Todd, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I well. What is in this? This box you got here? Well, this is my box of science. And what is in your box of science? Twizzlers, have one. Oh man! You think that I'm glad you invited me today? Yeah, no. Nutritious, yet delicious. They're not full of radiation poisoning, are they? <laughs> oh no. Okay, guys. Mm. Anyways, tell me about radiation. Well, there are three types of radiation. There is alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha radiation is a heavy, very short range particle that is actually an, elect an ejected helium nuclei. Some characteristics of alpha radiation are that most alpha radiation is not able to penetrate human skin. Alpha emitting materials can be harmful to humans if the materials are inhaled, swallowed, or absorbed through open wounds. Beta radiation is a light, short-range particle and is actually an ejected electron. Some characteristics of beta, beta radiation are that beta radiation may travel several feet in the air and is moderately penetrating. Now here's the kicker. Gamma radiation and x-rays are highly penetrating electromagnetic radiation. And there you have it, folks. of the search to find radiation. Heather, what can you tell us about natural radiation? Well, humans are primarily exposed to natural radiation from the sun, cosmic rays, and naturally occurring radioactive elements found in the earth, food, and the environment. Radon, which emanates from the ground, is another important source of natural radiation. Cosmic rays from space include energetic protons, electrons, and other particles. 
gamma rays, and x-rays. The primary radioactive elements found in the Earth's crust are uranium, thorium, and potassium, and their radioactive derivatives. These elements emit alpha, beta particles, or gamma rays. That was very useful information, Heather. Thank you very much. Um, now, we hear that you know a lot about artificial radiation. What can you tell us about any of the details in artificial man-made radiation? Do tell. <laughs> radiation is used in medicine, and military, and industry. Many users of man-made radiation include medical facilities such as hospitals and pharmaceutical facilities, research and teaching institutions, nuclear reactors, and their supporting facilities such as uranium mills and fuel preparation plants and facilities involved in nuclear weapons. Thank you so much, Heather. You have helped us so much on our continuation of the journey. And now we are off on our next quest. Let's roll, Marshall. Here we are. And I just have more inquirings to inquire. Um, can you tell me what, you know, what causes illnesses with radiation? It's the contamination in the environment. Like, the waves, they can travel and then they'll penetrate your body and they can harm you. That is scary. And how does radiation help treat it, like cancer or anything else? In general, the isotopes attach to antibodies, but in cancer, you can kill the cancer cells by damaging the DNA or by creating charged particles that can basically reverse the body's natural process. Unbelievable! Mm. There you have it, America. There you have it. Hello, Americans. We're continuing our quest on the journey to radiation. Just outside the university in chemistry, Wyoming. Except they won't let reporters in. I don't know why. They only let camera crew in. So I sent Marshall ahead to discover some transmutation info. Good morning, Dr. jong -il. Good morning, Charles. I'm, how are you this morning? I'm fine. How about you? Well, can we learn some chemistry? Oh, you betcha we can. <gasps> oh, good. So Charlie Bucket at the Chemical Institute of Chemicals here in uh, Chemistry, Wyoming, um, he is a star student of mine. I, I sometimes kid them because it, he has no relation to the character from Willy Wonka. But you know, it is funny because sometimes I call him Charles Beach Pale and he, he hates it. It's funny though. But anyway, so yeah, he's extremely smart. And um, he's almost as smart as me, which isn't saying much, but you know, he's pretty smart. What should we learn about today? Um, Let's, let's talk about the mutants. The mutants? Uh, I mean transmutation. 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 Okay. There, clever boy. Is that boy. when one element becomes another through radioactive decay or being bombarded with particles such as the alpha particle or a beta particle? That's the war. So, Smart kid. an element of bismuth, ah, bismuth. which is 21483, so yep. meaning it has 83 electrons and 214 particles total, yeah. plus an alpha particle of a helium atom, of a helium nuclei, I should say. You should say it. Say it. <laughs> I did. Say I did, professor. <laughs> Would mean astentine. Astentine 214, 85. 85. You see, the foreign. Is that transmutation, professor? I believe so. Yeah. You just you pick that up, aren't you? Just, just throw chalk on the ground like that? I guess I can. We, we don't have much money. We do many different things. We, for one, mix chemicals. We also create chemicals. And, um, sometimes we blow stuff up. It's, it's amazing here at the Chemical Institute. Um, yeah. It's, it's great. I like it here. I feel at home because it, the walls are all white. This is the, about the whitest a wall can get. It's it, you. You'd have no idea the chemicals that can go into paint. I mean, it's just amazing how how clean it is here. That's another thing. It's the cleanest place besides a hospital or a dumpster. Oh, and um, you might notice I'm wearing my lab coat with my pens, and if I turn around, oh, yeah, here's where it got a little crazy one day, 
and um, accidentally almost melted my pants to my chest. But anyway, yes, the Chemical Institute of Chemicals is a great place. You should come. Would you be willing to show us your lab? No. Why not? Well, you see, um, my lab is in the middle of uh, renovation. You know? Oh, it's okay. Let's go. Let's go if see. You insist. All right, right this way. You can see. My stepdaughter's kind of moved in. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, here we have can the canoeer. Um, she's always loved this one. So, um, what about your scientific equipment? Well, you see, um, it's all in this box. This is my science box. Did I not say that? Now, Marshall, we're continuing our journey to search for radiation. You see this tree here? You know what this reminds me of, Marshall? Liam Nadrin Abbott. Yes. It reminds me of the difference, America. The difference, WKGBXY. What is the difference between fusion and fission? I don't know. But a young man once told me once before that fusion is actually producing a greater mass, while fission is producing a less greater mass. Marshall, follow me! Nuclei of the isotopes is bombarded with the neutrons and splits them into separate parts. While in fusion, the release of more energy than fission causes the nuclei to combine. Onward with the search! That's my hair. Okay. Okay. All right, America. Sorry, Madam Frith. We just ran into the depths of the forest, of all the places of America, to find the difference between fission and fusion. So America, I got this zap, this feeling that I would find what would happen if the slowing down of particle movement occurred in this very forest. I'll tell you what would happen. In the process of fission, if there was no control of the radiation to absorb the neutrons, everything would explode. Explode. Yes, yes, America, everything around us would explode if there was no fission. So help America. Ready to go, man. There, we're dead. So, America. Now we will continue on our search to find even more information about radiation. Perhaps we can even calculate half-life. Let's go! Come on, I'll just run and damn it. Tell us more about radiation. Well. I'm gonna just expand on this just a little bit now that I'm in my new area, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, I'll just get a stab at this one for you. Let's see here. Here you go, let me just dig through my memory base, you know, my treasures. Well, here we go, uh, let me think. Uh, oh, ionizing radiation. It's bitter and cold out here. Oh, yes it Lighting. is. But that's when my brain does its best work. Ionizing radiation. It's radiation with enough energy to knock electrons off the atoms of the bombarded substance oh, to produce ions. Oh. What would you expect from a scientist? Am I right or am I right? Non-ionizing radiation is next on our list of objectives. Mm -hmm. Non-ionizing radiation 
described as a series of energy waves composed of. Uh, oh man, let me just think real quick. Oh jeez. Oh here, composed of oscillating magnetic electric fields traveling at the speed of light. It includes ultraviolet vi vi visible infrared <laughs> microwave radio frequency and extremely low frequency. Very interesting. Now, what is radiation caused by? Well, see, first off, you gotta have this in your mind. You gotta have this kind of mindset. Alright, you need to know that radiation is a natural thing, you know? It's just natural. And it comes from natural things, such as stars, comic rays, soil, grass, my thumb, your thumb, natural things. Even, oh man, what could you name? Uh, even a tree, you know? Wow! Look, Marshall. Oh, why'd you look at that? <sighs> All right, Dr. Sandy Rump, please explain. How does this x-ray radiation, if you will, what does it do? Well, it ionizes the radiation, but it doesn't remove enough of the electron particles to actually harm you. It can help you. Oh, very interesting. Do you want to try it? I would love to try it. What do I do? Lay down. Just lie down right Just here? Oh, right. right. Lay down. Oh, God. Oh, there you ah. go. Ah. Oh, do you see this, America? WKJXYZ. Oh, this is an ex conspiracy or something. Ready? And I press this button and boom. Ha ah! <laughs> ha! What's going on, Marshall? You're getting x-rayed! Oh, well, is there radiation going through me at this very moment? Oh, yes it is! God, my electrons are not leaving as they speak! It's so true. What is that jacket you're wearing? Why do you have to wear that? It protects me from the radiation. Oh, I'm geez. exposed. Hey, I'm getting x-rayed, yeah? Alright, x-ray's over. Wow, oh, that was wonderful. Oh, it was that great. was great. Good job. Thanks a lot, Good job, man. Super. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for letting me experience such radiation. Oh, what's that, Mr. President? An interview? That sounds fantastic, but I have to get off the phone now. Goodbye. Sorry about that, folks. Well, it's been a lovely day on this quest for radiation. I'm Nancy Smalltown, and you are the people of America. Well, I hope you learned a lot about ions, radiation, half-life, transmutation, all of the above, because I know I sure did. Well, you all have a great, fantastic day. This has been a report of Nancy Smalltown from WBK76, the day, XY News. Goodbye. Adios. Au revoir. Pink and Durkin. Well, me too, huh? Kind of hoping I could look at some gamma rays and beta rays and. Well, I mean, you can look at pictures of my daughter. Now, see, this, <laughs> this was her at Sea World. Oh. This was her at Sea World. Um, this was her on her third birthday. <laughs> this was her ready to go for a little spin. Yeah. Now, that's her at Disney great. World. Uh, oh, is that her at Christmas? Oh, oh at yes. Disney World. Yep. Oh, look at all her little. They're so cute. That was brilliant. Onward with our quest. Honey, honey, you should do that little dance for her. <laughs> yeah. The dance you do. Primary. Primary. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> the primary. Right I'll just cut that out. You can keep it. Really? We're not going to cut? Okay. Just, I'll just cut that out. You want okay. to just start over your you sentence. Start from primary. This bit, you better not be doing no. little. Just start with little bloopers. Like little bloopers. <laughs> I know you. Just start. Okay, here we have our computer lab. And if it's... I think, I think I smell so fur... Furic acid.